But more and more scientists, as I speak with them and talk with them as I'm traveling, I see more and more of them come to Islam. This year alone, I've seen an amazing number of people from the medical field, the area, other areas of science, whole when they said, are you sure? And I show them what it says, give them the DVD or let them see the website. They said, this is too amazing. A dentist, some years ago, I showed him the miswak. He could not believe it. You know what's miswak? The stick that the Prophet ﷺ used to clean his teeth, it's the root of the pillow tree. And you take that off and you cut it and it's, it's almost like ginger. It's kind of like bright taste to your mouth, you know? It cleans your teeth, cleans the gums, cleans the tongue, and helps your digestion. And removes tartar and plaque from your teeth without damaging the enamel. A dentist told me that's not possible. I said, oh, okay, read the box, because I bought it at the health food store. There's a box of toothpaste called Dr. Muhammad's toothpaste that has it in it. It's $5, and it's really watered down because there's very little of the stuff in it, and you still have to buy a toothbrush. Or you can just go get the CWAC and do it. How about this one? And this, I'm going to go through a couple of them fast. The Prophet ﷺ told us about sitting down when you eat or drink. Don't stand up when you eat or drink. So he said, that's just a sunnah, I don't care. I'll stand up, I don't care. You know, I'm, I'm at school here, I'm in a hurry. I just drink my stuff, eat my food. Okay, who cares? On the way home from a, a program that we did one night, many years ago, my daughter was riding with me and I was falling asleep at the wheel. And when we came to a stoplight, I put my head down on the steering wheel and she was saying, Daddy, wake up, Daddy, wake up, Daddy, wake up. I said, I can't, I'm exhausted. She reached over and turned the radio up really loud to blare, you know, to wake me up. Well, it's, I always have it on these talk stations. First thing came out exactly on the sentence. Always sit down when you eat or drink. I went, huh? <laughs> Never stand up when you eat or drink. I go, Jamaat Tablik is in town? <laughs> what is this? Who's saying this? Then he begins explaining the damage that's caused inside of your body just because you stand up. He said, we could just get people to sit down when they eat or drink. Look at the different things. And he mentioned the hiatal hernia, which is a very famous uh, ailment that we all, many people are running into it today. That they didn't used to have it because they didn't used to stand up when they ate and drank. The damage to the esophagus, the damage to the stomach, the damage to the kidneys, to the bladder. He went on and on and for 30 minutes I listened to all the different damage done to our body by standing up when you eat or drink. Now the question is for you as Muslims, if you've been standing up while you eat and drink but now you decide you're going to sit down, are you doing it for your good health or are you doing it for your Lord? Because you're supposed to be following the prophet and he told you to do it. So does it mean you have to wait and see what the proof is of everything before you do it? Huh? There are people who do that. Well, I don't see the benefit of Salah. I mean, you know, I think yoga is pretty nice. I'll do that exercise instead. You know, standing and bowing, I can go like, and be it, you know, right? There's a thing about that going on right now. A lot of people asking about this yoga thing. I'm thinking, you got Salah, what do you need that for? You want to exercise? Go do two more raka. Have a good time. Subhanallah. Other things that we've found. Amazing things that we've found.